I'm River Bay, and welcome to my gun kingdom. Okay, so I'm out here with the Mossberg 640 KD Chuckster, and uh, I've done quite a few videos here on the channel with this uh, really remarkable gun. And uh, Mossberg did such a really good job uh, manufacturing this gun and offering it to the public at a reasonable price. Um, like I said in my other videos, uh, the stock, uh, to save some money, uh, they use birch, which birch is a hardwood just like walnut. So, and uh, they did stain it a walnut color. So, it looks like walnut. So, uh, but it performs just as well. And they put those really good barrels um, that are very accurate, tight groupings uh, that come with the barrel. And, you know, um, we've zeroed the rifle in at 100 yards. And, what I always recommend doing, and I say this in all my videos, but I'll, I'll, again, I'll repeat myself. And it's very important that we sight our rifles in with the ammo that we're going to hunt with and leave it there. All right. Now, if you have a target gun that's just for target, then it's not that critical. But when you're hunting, um, you, you want to use the same ammo because it shoots a lot different if you, if you change ammo. So... What we've zeroed this rifle in with is the Winchester um, 22 Magnum. And these are 40 grain power points, uh, 1910 feet per second. So 1,910 feet per second. And now today, since we zeroed it in at 100 yards, we're gonna go out to 150 yards. So the energy that we have left with these um, hollow points here, we're going to have about 114 foot-pounds of energy left at 150 yards. So that's more than enough to take like a varmint out, like a groundhog, for instance. But anyway, um, we're not going to go on too much more about this since I've already covered the review in the first video. Just make sure you look here on the channel for that video and you can see the full review on this gun. But these are guns that you know, you can leave uh, right next to your door and, you know, if you have a varmint problem in your backyard or whatever, they're just nice and handy just to leave by your back door. And, um, and if you got it zeroed in 100 yards, you should be good for anywhere from up to 25 all the way up to 150 yards um, and, and less than 25 yards too depending on where that groundhog is at or whatever varmint you're trying to get out of your backyard. But um, just be safe when you, when you put it beside your door. You don't have to put one in the chamber, but have the, these come with a five round clip. So just load your clip up. And then when you have a varmint that you see in your backyard, then you can load one in the chamber. And then also be careful if you have kids around the house, uh, you might want to put the gun up. But these are great guns and great collector guns too so what do you say we get started okay so we're gonna be shooting here at, with this portable target set up at 150 yards and um, now you might think you don't need any ear protection with a 22 um, well this is a 22 magnum uh, not much more louder than a 22 long rifle but um, it's important to wear ear protection if you're shooting a lot, like we're going to be doing today. Um, so, I want to wear something that I can hear myself talk, and that's why I like these walkers. Um, but normally, if I wouldn't be making a video, I'd probably just put some plugs in. Since it's a fairly warm day today, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, decide it in first with, uh, without putting any ammo in it. Just get it close here. I got, I got the spotting scope set up, so that's ready to go. And check everything out on the target here. This is a 4x12. 
and I have it set, of course, on 12 power. All right. This does have a bullet drop compensator on it, so what we'll do, we'll be testing that out today. And I will try the first one. I'm going to lay that on the target. You know, if you're going to be shooting out, so we have it zeroed at 100, 100 yards. And that's why I like these scopes with bullet drop compensator. That way, you know, you still have a reference point instead of, instead of putting your crosshairs, you know, just slightly above the varmint. Well, now you got the drop, bullet drop compensator. You can use that um, for the reference point, okay? All right, so there we have it. So let's go ahead and load up the. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and load up the uh, shells, and this clip holds five. You don't use, you don't need a bag of shot really. Um, you're not absorbing any recoil with a 22, so. Uh, but the main reason I like to use it, it just holds the gun steadier. Uh, that's the only reason. is on until I get ready to fire here and then okay 150 yards here we go Looks like it shot low and to the right. Yep. All right, so now remember we don't want to, we want to leave it zeroed at 100. All right, so we don't want to mess with the with adjusting the scope now. Okay, I could have pulled it, but I'm gonna raise it up to the next, next one. Or I'm gonna lower it to the next hash mark. All right, so we're close. See, that's much better. That would have hit the varmint for sure. Now I'm going to go in between. There's, let me make sure here, but I'm pretty sure there is a. Uh, Yep. There's another one that we can drop down to. And I'm going to try that one now. Another hash mark. Okay, so I tried the first one. Then that one I just shot was the second hash mark down. And now there's a dot. It's not a hash mark. It's a dot that I'm going to go to. Now that might place the bolt a little high. We'll have to see here. Here we go.
right at the top of the bullseye. All right, so verify that with the spotting scope here. Nice scope, real nice. I like that. Okay, so this is where it's important to know where your gun is shooting. So if you're out to 150 yards, first you have to determine if it's actually 150 yards. And then you're gonna have to use the right hash mark for your drop compensator, okay? And you can look in the owner's manual and find out what kind of drop you have with with each hash mark every scope if i would say every scope is going to be different okay so make sure that you check that out okay so now i'm going to lay that hash mark the very last hash mark right there in the center of the bullseye. Okay. There we go. I just like, I just prefer to take that last hash mark and lay it right on top of the bullseye because that's where I've had my best success so far. Pretty sure it hit the same same hole in the top right side of that bullseye. All right. But yep, that's where I'm having my best luck is just taking that very last. And it's actually the second one down. And there's a little dot in between. There we go. Just make sure, you know, when you mount your scope, number one, get it bore sighted and get it, uh, shoot it at 25 yards, get it on paper. 
and then gradually move out you know you could do some at 50 and then gradually after that just move out to 100 yards leave it there at 100 yards zero and then practice shooting at 150 yards or 100 yards and 50 yards and, you know if your if your rifle is zeroed at 100 and then at 25 you're going to have a slight bullet rise um, so um, and that depends on the ammo that you use but make sure you use the ammo that you uh, hunt with for sure and leave it there and so anyway uh, we know this rifle is hitting at 150 yards so it was a successful uh, video and I appreciate you watching make sure you hit that subscribe button because there's always more content coming up um, with different rifles handguns and make sure you hit that like button it helps me out and uh, share it with your friends and ring that notification bell don't forget to do that and leave me a comment and let me know what you like to hunt with for varmints again i appreciate you watching thank you